Hi guys, this is Josh Nichols and Jason Leary from Three Phase Innovations. Today what we're going to be doing is corner testing a Y Delta Bank. The purpose of doing this is to check for polarity issues possibly or miswiring or mislabeling from the factory before energizing the transformer with a complete circuit. So what we actually have here is we have a Y high side as I just said and a delta low side. You'll notice this open point right here between this X1 and X4, or if it was a three bushing, it'd be X1 to X3, would be going right here. But before we make this connection, we need to test this. The reason being is we've had a few situations that we've been told about where the lineman wired the bank and they checked the polarity on the nameplate and they were all good. And the actual wiring of the bank was correct. When they energized the transformer bank, the bank blew up causing some injuries. So from that point on, it was a standard test procedure to test right here before we actually close the circuit. So what we're gonna do for this Y Delta bank is we're gonna energize this here in just a second. We're gonna check up with our voltmeter. Now at this test point, it should be 40 volts or less for a Y Delta bank. Why is it 40 volts? There's a harmonic buildup between the Y and the Delta I mean the Y primary and delta secondary. If it's 40 volts or less, we're good. Now something else has to be done. <clears throat> this is a floating high side, which typically most utilities in the industry won't. So the problem about that is for testing is, is the harmonics created in the Y and the delta is such a great buildup. If we don't ground it temporarily, the voltage can get in excess of 430, 40, 450 it can get on up there and you would think that there's a polarity issue so for right now we're going to leave it floated i'm going to clip this onto an insulated piece of wire in the back jason's going to now energize the bank and we're going to test it all right turn our voltmeter on good and again the high side is still floated we should have 40 volts or less if this is correct. We're coming up with 437. Now, remember, I just said the high side is loaded. We always need to temporarily ground this to check this to make for sure. Now Jason's gonna de-energize it. I'm gonna take the high side and we're gonna temporarily ground it, re-energize. Test point, X1 to X4, we're right at 41.7. This will be considered good. We don't ever work on the model while it's energized. We know for a fact that this is this test point voltage, what it should be. The wire's insulated, but we want to touch this to these two terminals just to let you know. There is no faults, no arcing. It will go together beautifully. Now this circuit is complete. But, like I said, I knew that was because it would be 40 volts or less for a Y delta. If it were a delta delta bank, the voltage would be 10 volts or less. And we can demonstrate that on this next model. You'll just see a little snippet of the 10 volts or less. But other than that, I want to thank you all. Check us out on a website at Three Phase Innovations for more videos. Okay, we just showed you the Y Delta and the harmonics between that, which is approximately 40 volts for a Y Delta. Down here, we're gonna run down here, we wanted to show you real quick the Delta Delta. We were talking about 10 volts or less. That's what we should get. Okay, we got our meter on. We're going from X1 to X4 or X1 to X3, depending on what style transformer you're using. We're getting approximately 10.6 volts, which would be good. I'll show you the same thing we did up there, insulated wire. We know this is good. We'll touch them together. We can now complete the circuit. This is good. If this transformer had a polarity issue either from the factory or miswired somehow, the voltage would be approximately 480 volts. So just always be aware of that when doing these test points.